the, there's certainly um, a new world disorder, and that's, you know, the 20th century in some uh, sense is that. It's been pointed out again and again uh, how horrendous the 20th century was, and it doesn't look as though we're coming out of that. Uh, that uh, we were in the long, we're in the long 20th century that's creeping into our 21st century, and disorder is certainly there. Um, remember, we remember at the UN when Somalia uh, governance just suddenly stopped in Somalia in 1992, and that was a shock. Then we we um, no longer really we're so uh, now used to, to disorder that it doesn't shock us so much anymore. But then, uh, that's you know, 20 years ago, not, not quite, uh, the idea that a state could fail was utterly shocking. I remember, I think it was a colleague of mine from the Foreign Service, uh, Jerry Hillman, who in an article in a journal um, coined the phrase, failed state. And people said, failed state? States don't fail. You know, they may have a coup d'etat, they may change their government, but there's always going to be a state, but states were failing. And we've seen that uh, in several cases, and the loss of control over uh, the territory of a state by its government, not the whole state failing, but perhaps the, the hinterland is gone. We see that again and again. So that's been a, a big um, assault on the established world order. And the United Nations, I think, is very much... Um, involved and concerned with this because the UN, as we know, you know, is the is the world organization of its member states. So it the UN is predicated on this world order that I'm talking about. So if it's disorder, what is the UN going to do about that? 